You see people killing it on social media. Maybe you should do the same. But if you focus on Facebook, are you missing the clients on Instagram? What about LinkedIn and TikTok? And suddenly everyone's talking about Clubhouse. How can you possibly do all this and serve your clients too? Well, in this video, you'll learn how to be smart and use social media to grow your business rather than gobble up all of your time. And I've got a little something special for you at the end of this video. I'm going to tell you how to get your hands on an amazing resource that will make it super easy for you to jump right in and start serving clients ASAP. So make sure you don't miss out on that. I'm Lauren Golden here with a new episode of Free Mama TV, showing moms like you how to start and run a successful freelancing business from home. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new episode of Free Mama TV right here each and every Tuesday. You see business owners with the massive Instagram following and the top rated YouTube channel and the fun, engaged Facebook group. It's super easy to put pressure on yourself to start doing all the things. But you have to remember that these people are not doing it all by themselves. They have a team. Plus, they all started somewhere. And when they started, they almost certainly didn't have multiple successful channels. Free mamas love social media. It's true. And you should, because these platforms provide awesome opportunities for networking and exposure, plus friendship. But if you can't do everything, what should you do? I have three key tips so you can be smart about your social media, use it effectively to grow your business and not end up a slave to your notifications. But before we dive in, I'd love to hear from you. Which social media platform is your favorite and why? Let me know down in the comments below. So which is the best social media platform for you? It's kind of a trick question because the answer is probably the one that you feel the most comfortable with right now. Here's how to know. First of all, you need to identify your ideal client. People get so stuck on this idea of ideal clients, but if you know the service you provide, how you help people and the problem you solve for them, you can work out who the people are who need the solution for that problem. Then you stop them. But you know, in a like totally legit, not creepy way to find out where they hang out online. Pro tip, you see ads from an expert, a guru or influencer or whatever, telling you they've mastered a platform. They're convinced that this is the best platform to find clients. It may be true for them because they've mastered it, which is why they wanna teach you about it. But it's also true for other platforms. You can be successful anywhere if you stay focused. This is also how you know that you're not going to die if you don't get on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is effective for certain entrepreneurs, just like Facebook or Instagram. It doesn't make any of these other platforms no longer effective. So you should be on the platform that you feel most comfortable with and your clients are on. But the biggest takeaway is this. Master one platform at a time. You might've heard about my friend, Dan Henry. He uses a circle to represent attention or energy or the time you have available. You can think of the circle as a pizza if you'd like. If you decide you're gonna network on Facebook, the whole pizza represents your efforts on Facebook. But if you decide you're also gonna add Instagram, you have to split your pizza in half. So each platform is only getting 50% of the time, energy, and attention you have available. And then you love the idea of Clubhouse. So each platform only gets a third of your attention. Now, who wants one third of a pizza when you can have the whole thing? Unless you have a team who can do this for you, it's really not a good idea. I strongly recommend picking one platform and putting all the time and energy you have for networking into it. Don't dilute your focus until you have support that enables you to show up in multiple places. The third key point about social media is you have to create more than you consume. No matter which platform you're on, it won't help you grow your business if you're only using it to watch other people grow theirs. You have to be willing to put content out. So to go back to the first point, it's much easier to put out great content if you choose the platform you feel most comfortable with. At the end of the day, you can be successful on any platform. So pick one and focus on it. Finally, I recommend you think about how you most enjoy communicating. If you're a really visual person, then maybe Instagram's your place. The benefit of Instagram is that there are lots of fun ways to position yourself. You've got your feed, stories, IGTV, and reels. 
You can make your bio searchable with keywords. There are a lot of ways to be found on Instagram and present yourself as an expert quickly. And with Instagram, you have to bear in mind that when it comes to networking, you need to move into direct messaging. Personally, I see this need to network one-to-one -one as a downside, but you might think it's a positive. You do you. When it comes to Facebook, people think they need to utilize a page. But to use Facebook effectively for networking and grow your social media presence, it's actually more about optimizing your personal profile and leveraging groups. I have an episode of Free Mama Radio about this, and we will link to that down in the comments below. Now, the advantage of Facebook over Instagram is you can connect with people much quicker. A lot of networking takes place in a community as opposed to an inbox. In contrast, on LinkedIn, you're not really positioning your personal brand. You're showcasing your professional expertise instead. In TikTok, it's super playful. I don't use it personally, but I know quite a few people who have had a tremendous amount of success on TikTok. It's very performative. So if creating video is super fun for you, then you should be on there. Similarly, if you love to talk and deliver value that way, then maybe Clubhouse is your thing. If you only take one thing away from this video, let it be this. You don't need to be everywhere. In fact, you shouldn't be everywhere because if you are, you're diluting your message. Surprise, Facebook is my platform of choice. Now, while I spend most time in my Facebook group, which I'll tell you how to join here in just a second, I also want to make sure to get you that resource about how to jump in and connect with your clients. So if you check out the links down below this video, you can figure out how to connect with me and my team directly in our Facebook Messenger, and we will send you that resource. Go ahead and check that out down below so you can get started serving your clients straight away. Also, if you want to join that community of mamas, just like you, I have a Facebook group where thousands of mamas come together for support and action taking tips and motivation. Now, if you liked this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and share it with your fellow mamas and comment below with hashtag I am a free mama if you are ready to start rocking your social media and building a business you love. Oop. Phone call. <laughs> I am super reflecty. Oh, my hair's kind of um, uh, <laughs> crazy bananas.